first grade writers, we are going to be starting a new unit um, for writers workshop called How To. So this is How To Session 1, Writers Study the Kind of Writing They Plan to Make. You might be wondering why I have this picture of all these cute dogs up for writing time. Well, friends, there are so many different kinds of things. Different foods, different cars, different movies, different te television shows, different dogs, and even different kinds of writing. Some of you might notice this piece and checklist from our Small Moments Narrative Writing Unit. It, the story says, One day, my brother and I were at the park. Let's go on the swings, I said. I'll push you, my brother said. I plopped down on the seat and grabbed the chains. I wiggled my body until I was just right. Ready, I said. My brother gave me a big push. I leaned back and pumped my legs. I kicked my legs in and out faster and faster. I wanted to go even higher. Give me one more huge push, I said. My brother stretched out his arms and gave me a huge push. This was just the kind of writing that tells a story. Today we're going to start to do the kind of writing that is like directions. Why writers write? To share experiences. They love to write. To express their thoughts or ask questions. To tell about important events to share their feelings, to persuade or to teach. So now what we're going to do is we are going to listen to a little story about how to give your cat a bath in five easy steps. How to give your cat a bath in five easy steps by Nicola Winstanley and John Martz. How to give your cat a bath in five easy steps. Step one, fill the bathtub with warm water. That is too much water. Oops. Step one, put a little warm water in the bath. This much? Step one, put a little warm water in the bath. The water should come up to your cat's knees. Knees? Step two, put your cat in the, wait, where is the cat? Mr. Flea, Mr. Flea, where are you? Don't you want to be clean? Have you found Mr. Flea yet? I can't find him anywhere. Maybe we should start again. Step one, find your... Step one, have some milk and cookies. You will need some energy. Fine. Step one, have some milk and cookies. Step two, find your cat. Step three, put your cat in the... Hold on, is the water still warm? I think it's cold. Step four, hold your cat in one arm and turn on the tap with your other. Mr. Flea, wait! Step five, chase your cat down the stairs. Step six, run back to the bathroom. I thought you said there were only five steps. Step six, run. Step seven, turn off the water. Oh no! Step eight, mop the floor. 
Step nine. Find. Step nine. Have another cookie. Step ten. Find your cat. Again. Oh. How to give your cat a bath in one easy step. Step one: Sit quietly while your cat licks himself clean. It's kind of a silly story about giving your cat a bath, and it was not five easy steps, was it? Today I want to teach you that writers can write different kinds of stories, such as the kind that give directions. We can study different kinds of writing that gives directions, then we can brainstorm things we know how to do so that we can write our own direction stories. So the first thing we're going to do is brainstorm, which means we're going to think about what topics you know. We're going to watch this little video about how to brainstorm. How to writing, episode one, brainstorming. So what is how to writing? It's just what it sounds like. You write to teach someone how to do something. So how can you choose what to write about? First, you should brainstorm things that you know how to do that you could teach others. I'm going to use a graphic organizer to help me brainstorm topic ideas. Let's see, what do I know how to do? I know how to make a pizza. I know how to grow a plant. I could teach little kids how to tell time. Or I could teach how to wrap a present. Hmm, which one should I choose? I'll pick the one that I know the most about, growing a plant. Check out episode two to see how I start my writing with an introduction. Okay, so you will be working on doing some brainstorming today too. So what can I write about? How to books. So this is just some ideas for you um, in case you need something to get you started. Paint a picture, make a sandwich, build a tower, jump rope, make popcorn, all of these different ideas. I won't read them to you. You can take some time to look at them and maybe they will inspire you. So your job today, brainstorm ideas of things you know how to do. Okay, you can see on the anchor chart, it says brainstorm, think about what topics you know. So then at the bottom it says pizza, grow a flower, wrap a present, okay? And then this, um, this girl decided that she was going to choose one of those ideas. So she chose how to make a pizza, but she still has her other ideas listed. Okay, so you are going to work on this template today. Things I know how to do. There are eight boxes for you to draw a picture or write down just a quick little jot of what you know how to do. So if, for example, yours is um, make a pizza, maybe you would just draw a pizza. Um, if you can do some writing in that little box, then you could write make a pizza. Okay, you don't have to write everything, just jot down your ideas. Eight things you know how to do. Try to get eight. All right, so how to writing. Circle a how to idea, then draw a picture and write a how to using a complete sentence and transition words. Okay, so that's what we're going to get started with tomorrow. So this is just a little preview of what we will do tomorrow. Okay, um, and there's a list of some ideas. Brush your teeth, make hot chocolate, make a taco, build a snowman, get dressed for a rainy day, play soccer, take care of a pet, clean your desk, plant a flower, make a paper airplane, or make a pizza. So this is just a little preview as to what we'll do tomorrow. Today, I want you to just work on eight things that you know how to do.